Okay, some basics about hermit crabs. They need a warm, humid environment. They breathe through modified gills, so the humidity should be, I keep mine around 80%, 75 would probably be okay, but you don't wanna go below that. That just gets a little dry. Um, mine are more active, the warmer and the more humid the air is, so that's proof that they're more comfortable. And I can always tell when I need to tweak a little because people, people, <laughs> because they, uh, they start to get slow and they don't come out and play as much. Um, they need fresh water and salt water. My fresh water pool is down here. It's about three inches deep, so I've got shells in it. That way nobody drowns. They can drown if they get in water that's too deep and don't have anything to grab onto. I have an aerator in there just for fun. Make it like a little hot tub. Um, my salt water pool is over here. It's not quite as big. I'm gonna get a bigger one eventually. Um, I use instant ocean. I mix it up by the gallon and keep it in the fridge and every day I just change it out. Uh, I have fresh food out at all times for them. I change it every morning. I haven't done it yet. That's why the banana looks a little sad, but right now they just have fruit. Their basic diet is some crab meal that I found that doesn't have any chemicals. It's fish and coconut and flowers and all that stuff that they love. Sometimes I'll put mealworms or something in there, but I try not to because it's gross. Um, I've got some giant shells down here. Somebody was having a party last night. Um, most of my shells that I keep handy for them are larger because most of my crabs are pretty big at this point. They've, they've all been here at least a year, some of them more. Um, the VIP lounge that was on the other side, I moved to this side of the tank right beside the tree so they can just climb in and out as they please, and they do. Um, let's see. I'm trying to figure out what else I've changed recently besides the water pools and the tree. Um, I'm going to build a fountain, and here I will do a video on that as soon as I get it done. I'm going to put um, a repto filter in this water pool and build rocks up around it and make a waterfall. So I'll be sure to post a video on that. Um, let's see. You pretty much just want to, as, as hard as it is, I know, because I love my Hermes, you want to kind of leave them alone a little bit and make their and make their habitat as close to home as possible because they're happier that way. They're not supposed to live in captivity. And if you can make their environment more, more natural, they're going to be happier crabs. They're going to play more. And you'll get more enjoyment out of them. Um, when I first started crabbing, I used to take them outside and play in the grass with them and stuff, and they liked it, but it stressed them out, and I had a few that died afterward, and I feel really bad, but I didn't know. Um, I've gotten a lot of people in our family and a network of friends interested in crab attacks now, and I get irritated beyond belief when someone's doing something wrong, so I've become kind of a, a hermit crab advocate. I hope people don't mind, but... <laughs> Um, I just, they're precious, and they're alive just like everything else, and they deserve to be treated properly, and it really bugs the heck out of me when I go to pet stores and they're in terrible living conditions, and it just really, really upsets me, like any other animal. Um, my substrate is play sand. I haven't done the coconut bedding and all that junk yet because it's really expensive, at least where I live it is. I've got it pretty deep. Um, there's some spots that could be deeper, but it kind of breaks down and pushes down and you got to maintain it and I haven't really done that lately. Um, as far as daily care, they need to have their food changed out every 24 hours as well as their water. You need to spray them, not necessarily spray the crabs because that's stressful, but you need to spray the environment every morning. I usually do it in the morning and sometimes at night if it's looking dry. I haven't sprayed a whole lot yet, so it's looking kind of dry. Um, you don't have to change out their basic diet as often. You can leave it a couple days and it'd probably be fine. But um, like I said about the water, you need to make sure that it's not so deep that your small ones are gonna drown, but it has to be deep enough that your biggest ones can get submerged fully because that's how they bathe and get the funk out of their shells and stuff. And they store water in there also, that's how they breathe. So it's gotta be deep enough, but not too deep. They like to climb. If you wanna have happy crabs, you have to make